Meantime, Trump's presidential campaign reportedly raking in millions ever since he was indicted. The campaign boasting $10 million has poured in from his supporters. The campaign also printing T-shirts with his fake mugshot on it. There was no official mugshot when Trump was booked and fingerprinted. So how is the Fresno County GOP going to handle this uncharted territory with a presidential candidate they have stood by since 2016? Joining me now is the newly named chair of the Fresno County Republican Party, Elizabeth Kolstad. Hey, welcome in. How Thank are you? you? Great. Nice so to be here. Give me give me the sense of now the local GOP party. You, you guys have supported Trump since 2016 in 2020, even when he lost the election. Uh, really, uh, at the time, the party as a whole never really refuted his claims of the election being stolen. And he's leading in this preliminary polls for the primary among Republican candidates. Does the local GOP party still endorse Trump right now? The party is not going to endorse at this time. Right now, we're just going to stay neutral. Doesn't mean that we don't like the things that he accomplished in the past or where he's going or that we won't in the future. We're just neutral at this time. You're neutral at this time. So the indictment, though, does that change your views of Trump? I don't, I don't think that really affects most people's view of Trump. Fresno in my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, Fresno County GOP decided not to endorse David Valadeo after he voted to impeach Trump back in 2020. Does the party ever regret that decision at all? Couldn't say if anybody regrets it or not. Do you guys as I don't. I, yeah. I, I'm yeah. still a supporter. I look forward to working with him. Mm -hmm. So you're a supporter of David Valadeo now? I am, yes. Yeah. Is the party. I'm a supporter of all Republicans. Okay, okay. Uh, has Trump, has the indictment and the, the, the arraignment of the 34 charges, would you say that's energizing local Republicans here in Fresno County? I don't know. I think it's energizing Republicans everywhere. Um, even ones that didn't support him in the mm -hmm. past, just because not necessarily they're supporting Trump, but they're not supporting the Democrats and they're not mm -hmm. supporting what Briggs is doing. Um, I think it's a gross misuse of our judicial system right now. And I think a lot of Republicans and c citizens agree. Um, locally, um, you know, I don't know if you see this yet or not. Has donations locally to the Fresno County GOP party, has it increased since the Trump indictment? Uh, the donations have not increased. Have not? Have they decreased? Nope. Nope? Just no, it's, it's pretty much the same as what it was. Um, you know, there's a lot of voters and they believe there's like a MAGA party mm -hmm. and then they believe that there's an old school conservative party and then there, there's a split. Which one does the Fresno County GOP represent? We have a lot of Trump supporters, mm -hmm. um, but we also support our local our local Republicans. So, you know, we still have, Jeff Nunes is still in the area. We have Congressman Duarte now mm -hmm. um, that we support wholeheartedly. He did a great job in this last race. So we picked up that seat, which we haven't had in the past. Of course, uh, Congressman McClintock is a great supporter of ours as well. Um, and we like to, we like to support our local candidates. I want to finish with this. Speaking of local candidates, you got two that are in a, well, pretty big fight right now, not physically, of right. course, but for that supervisor seat, Steve Brandau, the current seat holder, mm -hmm. facing off, well, now a former friend. They both had words separately, of course, on this very set, and Gary Bredefeld's looking to oust him. Gary Bredefeld claims that uh, right now, early polls show that he's the favorite to win the seat. How's the Fresno County GOP party facing this? So again, we're staying neutral. Um, part of our, our tradition has always been to not support when there are multiple candidates in the race. We don't choose one over the other. I think that Steve and Gary have great, are great options for the voters. They'll, they both are experienced. Um, they both have done a really good job in their respective seats. And I think the voters have good options. Um, we support them both. Okay. so. When this happens, they're probably going to be the only two running for the seat. Correct. So you won't endorse either one of them. We won't endorse either one of them. Um, because we, we know both of them, we like mm -hmm. both of them, and they're okay. both excellent choices for the voters. I don't think people can go wrong either way. All right. Elizabeth Colstead, appreciate your time Thanks. here. Chair of the Fresno County Thank GOP. You. Thank you. Appreciate it.